A little bit of scandal erupted in the legal battle between Tennis Channel and Comcast, making big headlines in the tennis industry this week. Hey tennis fans, I'm Lana Maciel, and this is the Tennis Now News Update. Since 2010, Tennis Channel has been involved in a lengthy federal case against cable giant Comcast, fighting to be included in the basic package for Comcast customers, as opposed to the more expensive sports tier package it's currently in. The FCC ruled in favor of Tennis Channel's case, but when Comcast appealed the decision, the appeals court unanimously sided with Comcast. That's when things got a little heated. In an internal staff email leaked from Tennis Channel CEO Ken Solomon, he used some not-so-nice language to express his disappointment and frustration on the court's decision. Soon after news of the email was released, Solomon issued an apology for, quote, several ill-chosen, excessively colorful, and inappropriate words in a private email to colleagues a few weeks ago reflecting my disappointment with a legal decision, end quote. Meanwhile, other tempers flared on the tennis court in London, where Xavier Melise and Guillermo Garcia Lopez put on quite an emotional show. For most of the match, Melise got into heated exchanges with both Garcia Lopez and the chair umpire, James Kiafavon, on several occasions, shouting, cursing, sulking, and even breaking his racket. By the end of the match, Kiafavon actually refused to shake Melise's hand. I think it's safe to say there isn't much love lost between these three from now on. Also in London, Leighton Hewitt is making a nostalgic run with a trip to the semis after defeating Juan Martín del Potro 6-2, 2-6, 6-2. And in Halle, Roger Federer continues to assert his dominance on the grass, cruising into the semifinals with a double bagel win over Misha Zverev. He's set to play his good friend and recent doubles partner Tommy Haas for a spot in the finals. And in some on-court antics, Gael Monfils, the king of flash and flare, did what he does best in his quarterfinal match against Tommy Haas, adding yet another crazy trick shot to his resume. Rather than take a high overhead shot off a lob while at the net, the Frenchman let the ball bounce between his legs, then spun around and hit an overhead while his back was still to the net. It just goes to show, you never know what Monfils is going to pull out of his bag of tricks. As is typically the case with every Grand Slam, fans are curious to see what fashions the pros will be wearing for the fortnight. And with Wimbledon right around the corner, Nike has unveiled the 2013 collections designed for Roger, Rafa, Maria, and Serena. Of course, Roger will wear the classic white polo with a citrus orange accent, giving him the refined look of the seven-time Wimbledon champ. Rafa's gear, on the other hand, includes a fitted tee with crimson accents around the collar, as well as a practice t-shirt that has the words passion, respect, and intensity written in Spanish. Maria's outfit offers a feminine look, with a spaghetti strap top and chevron skirt pattern, while Serena will defend her title in a v-neck dress with a pleated bottom. That's all for today's Tennis Now news update. What's your take on the Tennis Channel battle with Comcast? Can Leighton Hewitt make a resurging presence on grass? What do you think of the sportsmanship issue in the Melise match? Let us know in the comments section below or on Facebook and Twitter. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see when we post new content. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.